Hello. So, uh, I really like playing PS2 games, and one thing I noticed that does not hold up at all is the clarity of textures and menus, pause menus, UIs, you know. Um, and these days with AI and just the tools available right at our fingertips, it's so easy to make HD texture packs yourself and to share them. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, um, quick and dirty. And I'll show you at the end of the video the results of the texture pack I made over the past couple days. So what you're going to need is PCSX2. You're going to need a game or two, whichever one you want to make the texture pack for. First thing you want to do is to set up your hotkeys. So I set up texture dumping, toggling replacements, and reloading the replacements. So when I load a new file in the texture replacement folder, I can just, with the game open, reload the replacement and see how it looks without launching the whole game again. So, once you get those set up, go into your game properties. Make sure it's set up the way it needs to be to actually run correctly. For example, Budokai 3 um, has some upscaling fixes that are recommended on the wiki page, which if you right click and go to check wiki page, should open up the page you need to learn more about fixes you need for your specific game. So once you get that all set up, you can go to texture replacements. And for this particular game, I need to pre-cache textures, otherwise they'll flicker. You might need that set in your game too. You'll have to experiment and see what you need. And you can set it to dump textures right off the bat. So once you boot the game, it's immediately gonna start dumping the textures that it loads into memory. That way, if you load BIOS, you can even get HD textures for the PlayStation 2 BIOS, which is kind of neat. Um, you want to dump mint maps, I think. I do. Um, so I keep that checked. And then for FMV textures, that's literally, it's going to take every frame of a video that plays in the, uh, the, you know, the emulator, and it's going to dump an image for that frame. Effectively, you can make HD cutscenes with this. Um, I'm going to leave this off for now, but I'll show you the results of turning that on and converting each one of those frames into a higher quality texture. It does make it so you can make, you know, HD intros and stuff like that. So for now, we're just going to keep that checked and we're going to launch the game. Now, while this is launching, uh, two things. This game has a progressive scan mode. It's not, mode. It's not relevant to... Um, to like making an HD texture pack, but it is relevant for getting the textures for loading the menu for setting progressive scan on. So I'm gonna hold the button combination to make it ask that. There we go. And I'm just gonna leave that there for a sec. If you go to your PCSX2 folder, um, now I'm running an app image and I made a config directory next to the app image. Otherwise it would be in your home directory dot config. We're going to go in there and go into the PCX2, PCSX2 directory, and then you're going to go to textures, and while it's dumping textures, it should have made a directory specifically for the game you're running. Go in there and then check dumps. And in here, I'm going to change it so it shows uh, previews that are bigger, and then I'm going to sort it by created. So we'll see this sorted by the order the textures were loaded and dumped, which is really convenient because at the bottom will be the latest one that's loaded. If you look in here, we got a bunch of textures. Um, what I like to do is I make a folder for each specific category of textures as they're dumping. So I'm going to just call this boot. I'm going to throw this into the boot folder. And then as you see, I'm going to hit yes. It's going to load the textures. I'm just going to start the game. This is an FMV, so it's not going to dump this. This is not an FMV. So there we go. It's just going to dump things as we go here. And there's some garbled junk data here. You, um, oh, Some textures will have that. If you upscale this as is, it'll still work just fine. So I'm going to load it. I'm going to skip this cutscene. I'm sorry. I know it's a good one, but we're going to skip it. And look at all these textures loading. Look at Boo. So... Yeah, you just go throughout the game, and as it loads these textures, you'll get dumps. And I'm going to make a new folder called Title. And keep these in Boo. And then I'm going to put these into Title. 
So that's that's an example of how I dump textures. Uh, Budokai 3 is another example of a good game to show how this works with because um, there are some textures that just can't be... They just load indefinitely, so you'll never be able to replace them with HD textures. This text right here is a good example of what I'm talking about. It loads a new texture every time you get into this menu, as far as PCSX2 is concerned anyway. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go, well, first I'm going to go into options. I'm just going to let it dump all this, right? Wait a sec. And then I'm going to back out. And you're going to see that this text, there's multiple dumps for this text, and then there's a new dump for this title screen text too. So you're not going to be able to replace those, but textures like this, these are only loaded once, and they're pretty reliably replaced. So you can take all these ones, except like this cloud, for example, this cloud, and these would all go into the title. So once you get a good set of textures, and this is going to take a while, by the way, you're going to take spend probably a day or two doing this, you have a pretty good collection of textures that you'll be able to, you know, um, upscale. And there are a lot of ways to upscale images. These are just PNG files, so you can use any tool you want. Um, I just went to the Discover score store on Arch here and for flat packs, and I just searched upscale, if you spell it right. And this app was, I was like, that looks pretty good. So I use this. And in this, you can just batch upscale, select a folder. And we're going to go to where I dumped that, which would be, where the hell is this? You know what? I'm just going to add that to places. There we are. Go to boot, hit okay. And then we can choose the style for upscaling. This is obviously the best one for this. Choose the size, choose the output folder, and you'll notice there's a replacements folder here too. We're gonna make a new folder in there and call that boot so we can keep track of what textures we're upscaling as well. And then we're gonna pick that, hit OK, and upscale. And this is the process basically. You just do this as you collect textures and you upscale them and see how it looks. Now, this is what I've done to put together a texture pack for Budokai 3. There are a lot of textures in this game that work like this text here where you can't replace them, but they're pretty inconsequential. For example, some of them, uh, the key bar and your uh, the HUD, Dragon Universe, the map, but the border around the map and some aspects of the map can be upscaled. So overall, this game looks a lot better when you do it. And I'm gonna show you the results of that. So I made some folders here. Here's my replacements folder. That's finished. I'm just going to delete this old one, paste this new one in, and then I'm going to reload texture replacements. And you'll see immediately how much better this looks. Much crisper, and this was all made using these free tools, just on my own in a couple days. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and unload them. Look at how much worse that looks, it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, that's almost basically it. Uh, I'm going to actually close out of this and show you one more thing. First, I'm going to disable dumping textures because I don't need to do that for this demonstration here. There we go. Um, now, I did replace the FMV texture for the opening, but if you go into how I upscaled it, I replaced the old PNG files with DDS files. This is for two reasons. One, they're smaller if you do it this way, and two, uh, it loads quicker into memory, which is pretty important for slower devices like a Steam Deck, for example, that doesn't have all the resources to so just cram it in as fast as possible. Um, the way I did that was by installing this utility here called NVIDIA Texture Tools, and that is from the AUR. I used Yay to install that. And then I made a couple scripts if I go into this folder here. Um, there are different ways you can create DDS files. This one, for opaque ones, is the lowest quality, which makes smaller files than the PNG files. Um, and I use this command right here to get that done. And then the script, if I just run it in the directory that uh, the PNG files are in, it'll just create replacement DDS files, which is pretty convenient. 
So I'm going to show you what the uh, HD FMV looks like. I'll go full screen for this. And you can already tell, just the PlayStation 2 logo is actually crisper. So here's this menu, I'm going to hit yes, yes, and that looks much better. Uh, this one did not dump a texture, so unfortunately we don't get to see a better quality version of the Funimation logo. Bandai does look crisper, so does Tim's. That one doesn't look much better, I'll be honest. That does look better. And then here's the HD uh, opening. Now this was pretty slapdash, it's not the greatest in the world, but it does to me look a lot better like at first glance. Um, you know, and also when you're sitting from a distance at a TV too. Uh, AI upscaling isn't perfect, but this does crisp it up a little bit. Um, I think it looks alright, so I'm going to skip this now that you've kind of gotten an idea. And you'll see how the menus look. You can continue from a previously saved game. Hey, it's me, Goku! So which are you going to play? Pop, adjust the game settings any way you want. Hey, it's me, Goku! Oh, we're watching you, so give us a good... I just realized there is one more thing I did specifically for Budokai 3. Um, I'll show that off real quick. Because you're replacing textures, uh, you obviously don't need to just upscale them. You can replace them entirely with something you'd prefer. And something that always bothered me about Budokai 3 uh, was two things. One, the scouter HUD wasn't green. Scouters are green in my brain. But also, when you go Super Saiyan 2, the lightning wasn't blue. Well, in this, I didn't make it blue, so now if you look close, is blue. I got blue lightning. And that's true for all characters that go Super Saiyan 2, so that's a little pet peeve that's fixed. So There you go. That's a quick example on how to make an HD texture pack for a PS2 game, at least for PCSX2. I hope you found this helpful, and that's all I gotta say. Where's the end? There it is.